All right, would you like one more miserable way of thinking about your odds? How about this? One in 292 million is like me secretly choosing one specific second over a span of nine years and you correctly guessing the exact second that I picked. But don't get angry with me. The young man who worked out the odds for this is joining us now, a Davidson College professor of mathematics and computer science, Mr. Tim Chartier. Professor Chartier, welcome to Prime. As more people are drawn to these mega billion dollar plus drawings, uh, we know more tickets will be purchased. What's the likelihood now that we'll see a winner tomorrow night? Well, one of the interesting things is that once the, the lottery tops a billion dollars, people come out of the woodwork to start buying those tickets. So the chances that are that it'll be 50% or higher. And with the holidays, it's likely to be higher than 50%, so even better than a coin flip. And some of us won't purchase just one ticket for the next drawing. We'll purchase 10 or 20, maybe even 100. But set us straight. What does that really do to improve our odds of winning? Well, if you buy 100 tickets, it's true that you actually multiply your chance of winning by 100. But it's important to go back to your analogy of it being one second in nine years, because buying 100 tickets is like having just 100 guesses to guess that one second mm -hmm in a nine year span. So it's still not terribly likely. It can be tempting though, to study which numbers might be drawn more frequently than others. Are some numbers drawn more frequently? If so, why so? That's just randomness. If you flip a coin 30 times, you're not going to get 15 heads and 15 tails on average. So by just by randomness itself, you're going to have some numbers pop up more than others, but it doesn't mean that you'll have those numbers more likely in the drawing. I know you're a man of cold, hard numbers, but on a human level, most of us are aware that, that the chances of winning the Powerball lottery are, are really close to none. It, so what are the psychological or, or social reasons that, that keep us coming back, that keep us deciding, eh, well, we'll buy that one ticket? For me, I believe it's the dream of being a billionaire, that for one day, you just have to buy that one ticket and you get to dream of being a billionaire. And in this time of the holiday season, there's a lot of joy that comes with that. So if you have the money, enjoy the dream. So Professor, I gotta ask you, are you buying a ticket? I have not yet, but my wife knows that when I get these calls, we've gone over a billion. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have that discussion, <laughs> but we'll see. My, kinda, chance, my guess is probably not. <laughs> it it kind of feels that once it gets to a billion, you gotta gotta try. Somebody's <laughs> gonna win, right? What do they say? You gotta gotta play to pay. Gotta pay to play. You gotta play to win. All right, yeah. Professor Tim Chartier, we appreciate you breaking down the numbers for us tonight.